Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? So after yesterday's catalogue of absolute disasters, we are hopefully going to have a better day today. And I will just say, I got part way through the recording and I had another game crash, so I am now having started again, which is exactly the same as what happened yesterday. And the reason, I'm not exactly sure why I'm getting these crashes, is obviously there's a mod conflict somewhere, but again, it was over in the field with the cultivated cultivations, um, where I was doing, you know, I was doing the cultivating yesterday. So I'm going to try it once more, and I will say frequently while I'm doing that bit of cultivating over there, and we will see what it might be. Um, but before I start doing cultivating, I'm going to. Uh, I, I am wondering if it's perhaps this tanker. We didn't have problem with it before. Um, yeah, just generally, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. So, anyway, we've got this great big water tanker now. This one can also take milk. 18,500 litres is considerably better than what we were using before. Now, a... Um, come up around here. So, yes, we were doing 4,500. So, this one can take water and milk but it can't take the honey, so we'll need to use a small tanker for the honey, and then this great big tanker we can use for the water, and I'm going to bring it up here, and we're going to fill this one up, and then we are going to go back over, and we are going to uh, have another go with the cultivating over there. What I've done is, oh, before I do that, my weekly question, I better get into that, because otherwise I'm going to forget all about it. Slurry tankers. I have got the Marshall at the moment, uh, which is an 8,000 litre tanker. I'm thinking that we should upgrade slightly. So do you want me to get the Zunhammer? 18,500. Obviously, that's going to be quite difficult to pull up the hills. Going down the hills shouldn't be a problem, I shouldn't have thought. I think we'll have no problem at all building up speed going down hills with that thing behind us. Um, the other option is a modded one, which is the Flegel VFW 10600. And that one requires 130 horsepower. And it's kind of more of a, a, a mid-range one, I would say. So it is the Flegel or it is the Zunhammer. It is, uh, head down to the comment section down below and let me know which one you'd like. It's your vote, it's your game. Now, we'll just take this one up here to this set of beehives up here. The, um, to the beekeeper. The beekeeper, that's the word I'm looking for. And we'll park this one in here. We'll unload the water into it so that it can make a little bit more honey for us. And then we're going to have to see about taking the honey to the, um, the shop over there. And I think we can actually get down that way. We're also going to need to do some grass soon. We are running out of grass. Uh, so we're going to need to do that. We've got quite a few different things to do. And we are down to 14 episodes to go, including this one. So just back up there a second. There we go. Right, that one can empty out. As soon as that is emptied out, I'm going to walk down to the farm and we are going to see about purchasing the field down the bottom so we can cultivate the whole of the other field. Okay. I'm going to buy this field here, because I sold some of the silage and biogas plant, as well as topping up our mixed feeder. We now have enough money that we can buy this field. There we go. And that should allow us to cultivate that field up there. Although we do have this issue with the game crash coming up, and if I can establish exactly what is causing it, I will let you know, of course, so that you don't have the same thing happen to yourselves, because there is nothing more frustrating than a game crashing on you. Um... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around the outside a few times with this one because I know that it works. We've got a little bit up there that doesn't work. Um, and that's about all there is to it, really. We're just I'll just get a little bit of this done so that we can start auto-cultivating with, with the hired help. And then I will get back to you and we can start ferrying some pallets around. I got, we've got pallets to move, we've got honey to move, we've got all sorts to move. I've done a few times around the outside of the field, and I have just set the hired help going. I haven't had another crash, so I'm really not sure what it's doing. I'll have to study the, uh, I think there's um, crash logs or something later on, but I'll, I will have a look and see if I can find out what is causing it, because this is not really what we want. Anyway, it hasn't done it at the moment, and the hired help is away. They're going to cultivate this field. He'll probably stop when he gets part way down because um, he's not all that clever when it comes to 
figuring things out. But anyway, that's that's neither here nor there. He is working. It's doing as we want it to. Um, now, I've taken some water to the beehives up the top. I've got some honey available. I want to take some grain up to one of the buildings up the top there. I'm going to need to cut grass very soon. We are going to need a lot of grass quite soon. So I'm thinking that my next job, we will go and get the... I'm going to, wa I'm going to walk up the top a minute. Okay. I'm going to take some water over to one of the big buildings over on the side. And there's a fill point right here, which we used at the end of last week. There we go. So if I just back up to that drop a minute, we can fill this tanker up and then we can go straight out and we'll see about the shortcut across the top here and see how that works. Uh, is that going to... No, that's not anywhere near close enough. Problem with this trailer is that because the wheels turn slightly, um, it's more difficult to reverse. It's always a bit of an issue when you've got wheels that turn slightly. So we fill this one up. We're going to go out through there, through that gateway just there, and we're going to head down over the Met building, which is the darker of the two. That one takes water. The other one takes grain, milk, and honey. That first one takes water and honey. Met, I'm assuming that's mead. I did say that before. I'm fairly sure that, that would be mead. It's got to be. I can't see it would be anything else. Um, the feeding trough for sheep, that now has no grass in it whatsoever. And a mixed trough we're going to need grass for that one so very very soon maybe even tomorrow i will do some grass cutting which means we're going to need to buy another mower i'd like to get a side mounted mower Ooh, excuse me <coughs> right we can cut this little bit out here we've got a field down there that we can cut and there's another piece above field three that we can cut i notice there's a, a gateway going through into it so we should be able to cut all of those now i'm hoping that i can drive down here and then I can come up round. So we can get through. So we actually we could probably get away with cutting a section in front of this. I don't see why we couldn't. And what I'm going to need here, I'm going to need to get some cereals over here. I've got 4,500 milk. Uh, but I have no cereals here at the moment. So we're going to need cereals and then we're going to want honey. And that way we'll be able to start that pallet filling up. And that one fills up with cereal. I'm going to get into the tractor. Here we go. Right, now this one takes water and honey. So where does the water unload? That's the next question. Is it this side or is it the other side? Ah, here. It's got to be there. So if I come over to this side, unless that's where... Does it fill here? Ah, there we go. Right. So the water goes into that pipe there. And if we were using the small trailer, it would fill on the small trailer. It would. You'd get the pipe come out. So we'll fill this one up. The next task we're going to do is... I think we've got enough water here and there. We will get the other trailer put on and we'll get some honey. We'll bring the honey down here. This one will start. We will need to get some cereal up for the other one. So that's what... Uh, right, only takes 12,000. We'll unload this one. So let me just head back over there. I'll come around between the two. And I will swap over the tankers and get the other one going. Right. We're going to drop this one here, just like that. And we will get the small Bowser on, which can take the honey. We will get honey straight from there, because we've got a whole load of honey in that one. And we can run it downhill. We want to do two trips, because we want to fill the Met one, and we want to fill the Cereals one as well. Uh, we've got more info. Water empty. Which one's that? Uh, that's probably not this one. That one's got a load of water in it at the moment. I imagine that's the one down at the farm, so we're going to need to take a tanker full of water down there very soon. It's amazing how fast you get through things. Running these uh, beehives is an absolute full-time job. It really is. It's a good job we've got plenty of milk. At the moment, we've got, if you just take a look here, we've got 21,000 litres of milk. So we've got plenty of milk. We may even have to sell some milk soon. So that one will fill up there. If we just can I back up a bit, I want to see it. There we go. So we've got the pipe coming out there. That's working quite nicely. That goes onto the side. It, it actually takes it off the side of the tanker there as well when it does it. This tractor is getting absolutely filthy. I think we're going to have to splash out on a pressure washer fairly soon because I would like to clean the tractor. Because when you're inside, look at that. That's absolutely disgusting. And I do like to do some in-cab driving, but I don't really like doing it when I can't see anything out the window. 
So that's something we're going to have to work on. Now, if I put it into the Met first, because we never actually, we've never actually tried this one. We've tried the other one um, in the last map. We actually made a pallet of cereals, and it, it, it all worked fine. So let me start filling that one. The pipe's gone off. It's gone onto the back. That is filling up there. Let me come over to here, and if you jump up... Oh, no, it's... Ah, there we go. This end of it. So we've got 12,000 water, which is full. We've got 4,500 uh, 4, honey, which is a third. So we could get two more tankerfuls of honey in here. And then you've got the met pallet. Now, where's the pallet go? Got that there. Uh, oh, it's out this side. So the met pallet will be there. We'll let that one go. We're going to run back up and get some more honey. I mean, I don't think we can get up there. It's a little bit too steep. We can get round the back here. So we get another tanker full of honey, and we'll bring that one down for the cereals one. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm really sorry. I've got a bit of a um, sort of a cough today. I seem to have that a lot. Um, you know, I suppose I suppose I could give you my confession. I used to smoke. Um, I used to be a smoker. I am no longer a smoker. I have not smoked for several years. But I still find that I have a bit of a smoker's cough some mornings. Um, it is morning for me, or mid-morning now. Actually, it's nearly lunchtime. But anyway, that, that bit aside, um, I think possibly because I used to smoke um, and because I also did a lot of work in dusty environments without properly using dust masks and stuff when I was younger, um, I now have quite a problem with coughing on some days. So you probably notice I do get quite croaky some days and it's partly, I think, with the smoking and partly because of working in very dusty environments. So when you're working, if you're doing um, jobs that are uh, producing a lot of dust, wear a dust mask because once you get like I've got and you, like, you, you're very, very croaky and um, you're coughing a lot, uh, there's not a lot you can do about it apart from just hope that over time you'll sort of heal up again. Um, yeah, don't be ashamed to wear a dust mask if you know, somebody's sniggering at you. You'll be the one that's not coughing when you're older, and they will be. And that is probably the best advice that I could give you today. Let's go over here and see if this has done anything yet. I'm very impatient. Yes, look, we have something right. So that is met my day. <laughs> I don't know why it's met my day. Right, how much is that used? Let's come over this side. We want to jump up on here. And F1, there we go. Come forward a little bit. There we go. Met pallet is at 17%. It's only used 3% of the water and 3% total of the honey. So we could get some more, actually. I need cereals on this one. That one's working nicely. I need cereals on this one. I could probably get some honey from the lower farm. And uh, we've got half a tanker full of honey up here. I'm not going to worry about either of the honeys right now. I'm going to unhitch this tanker up here. And I'm going to drive down to the bottom farm. I'm going to get a trailer. I'm going to get some cereals into it. And then I'm going to drag that one up here. The, we've got one bull. We've got the Flegel bull. And that one's got a load of wood chips in it. So we can't use that one. And we've got a small trailer. So I think we're just going to have to settle for the small trailer and drag cereals up here with that one. But it's only one of the buildings that actually needs a cereal. So we're not going to need masses of them. So hopefully that one trailer will be enough. Right, there we go. I will unhitch now and go and get the trailer so that we can get the cereal set up for the second building. So we get both of them producing pallets, and hopefully we better make a decent bit of money out of them. Right, there's the trailer in behind the seed drill. So if I move the seed drill out first, then we can get to that trailer. I think that one's 4,500 litres, if I remember correctly. It might be more than that. Hopefully it is a bit more than that. Right, I don't need to actually put the PTO on this one because we're not going to be using it. We're just moving it. So if I turn round and reverse that one in there. Oops. I need to do that. Put that one there like that. Lower it down. You know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to buy a pressure washer because I want to clean this tractor. So pressure washer... There we go. And where should I put it? We need to find somewhere to put it that is not going to be in the way, but we can access it. And it's a very, very tight place here. We haven't got a lot of space anywhere. I reckon if I can put it right next to here, can't be placed. No, 
Oh, that's as close. That's too far out. Okay. Let's move over this way. Let's jump. Jumps an awful lot. And... Can't place it there. I could put it here. Right, that's where it's going to go. We're going to put it right there. And hopefully that will be okay. Come out of here. There we go. Oops, I haven't unhitched. I don't need to worry about washing the seed drill right now, but I would like to wash the tractor. So let's just move the tractor over here a second. We can hop off. And... Excellent. Right. Let's clean you off, the front weight. See, I know that you, know, you don't actually need to clean the front weight. It doesn't make a huge amount of difference. But it does make some difference when you're driving along and you've got this filthy front weight in front of you. Um, if you're a bit of a perfectionist, I tend to be a bit of a perfectionist at times... Um, that front weight can really make a difference. It, it gets annoying. It, ju it just—I see that just that dirty weight on the front, and a shiny, clean tractor, and it just—it just bugs me a little bit. It's, it's only like a small thing. It's, it's one of those like niggly little things that most of the time you—you you don't worry about too much. But yeah, I don't know if anybody else has those things. You know, they're, they're slightly annoying. Not annoying enough that you would go out of your way too much to deal with it. But at the same time, they are just like this niggling little... It's almost like a something just brushing at your hair slightly. It's just, it's just slightly annoying and you just... Every now and then you flick your hand towards your hair to try and stop the annoyingness. But you, you don't go out of your way to try and stop it altogether. Am I making myself... Do, do, does anybody understand what I'm saying? Because to be honest, I barely understand what I'm saying. Right. Anyway. Um, have I got wheat? I've got plenty of wheat. That's the one that we do have. How much is that? I thought it was 4,500. Oh, it's more than that. No, nope. 6, 7, 8. 8,500. Actually, that's not bad. I'll go up here and turn. I'll turn in this gateway. That tractor's still going. We haven't had any game crashes. I have been saving on a regular basis, mind. And I will investigate the files after this to see if I can find out what might have caused the crash. I doubt I'll be able to find out very much. Usually, if a game is crashing, about the best thing you can do is start removing mods. Um... And I've got to be honest, I haven't really had any game crashes from FS15, um, other than a couple of very dodgy mods. And I can't think, because most of the mods I've got are really good, and I can't think what might be causing it. It's obviously, it might be a conflict between some of the like the game altering mods, like the Stop the Milk Sale um, could be conflicting with uh, maybe something on this map in particular. Because we've got the buyable objects on this map, and this is the only map I've got that uses those buyable objects. So it may be connected to that. I don't know. Um, you never really can tell. Never quite sure. Right, unfortunately, we've got to go the long way round. We've either got to go up to the sheep farm and down through that way. Or we've got to come up through this way. So today we'll go up through this way. We are almost out of time, actually. Um, we'll have time to tip out this one. And then that will be about it. So... Oh, someone did say that there are some placeable road mods, so I might look at some of those. I'm not that fussed about it, to be honest. I think that um, we'll probably be okay with just sort of driving up through the field here. Yeah, I'll have a think about that. We got, after today, we've got another 13 episodes to go, which isn't a very long time. So we're not sort of pressed like that for making sure that we get everything running. We just We just want to kind of cover as much as we can with it. And then we're going to be out of time because we've got the new game coming out. Right. 8,500 of these. Is it going to take all of it? We'll have to have a look at percentages. Yep, we have taken all of that. We have a run around and see where... Oh, it's over this side, isn't it? Right, there we go. Right. Uh, that's 70%, so it wouldn't take two trailerfuls. So we don't use a huge amount of cereals on this one. And how are we doing over here? We've used almost half of the honey. And it looks like we've got almost a full pallet. Let me just come back round this side. I jump up on here. There we go. 85% uh, on the Met pallet. So that one is nearly ready to transport down to the bottom. We're actually out of time. Um, weekly question, very quickly. Uh, do you want me to get... Where are they now? Slurry tanks. There we go. Do you want me to get the... I've got this Marshall one, which I think is a little bit too small. So I want to get a bigger one. Do you want me to get the Zunhammer, which is really big? That's 18,500. Or do you want me to get... Oops. Let me go like that. Do you want me to get um, 
this Flegel, which is slightly smaller than a Zunhammer, but is bigger than the one that we got at the moment. Um, it's kind of a, a, a smallish, small to mid-range one, that one is. That's 10,600 litres. Uh, so do you want me to get the Flegel or do you want me to get the Zunhammer? Uh, head down below and let me know in the comments section. It's your vote. It's your game. Now, have I got time to go and get the JCB? I think I might have. I think we can do that. So I will just take this trailer up to the top a minute just so that it's out the way. And then I will run down. I will get the JCB and I'll come back and we will see if we can get that pallet and sell that before the end of the episode. Because in our next episode, I don't want to do too much of that. We've already taken stuff to those buildings. Um, I'd like to get another mower, and I would like to do some mowing, because the sheep are out of grass, the cow's nearly out of grass. Um, we need grass. So we're going to mow here, we're going to mow that field over there, and we'll possibly do some mowing over the other side as well. So there's lots of mowing that I'd like to do, and that's going to be our next episode. We will use the Sammy. This seems to be our main tractor for most of our tasks. So I will get this down to the farm in the next episode. In the meantime, I'm just going to go and get the JCB. Okay, we are here with the JCB. I checked on the Deutz while I was at it, and he's done a good section of the field now. And so far we've had no game crashes, so it might just be when I'm driving that it does it. So it might, could just be the game trying to subtly tell me that um, my driving has room for improvement. I can't say that I'd blame it. I know that uh, more than one person has said that my driving has room for improvement. Some days it is absolutely awful. I do try to make sure that it's not, but um, yeah, anyway, okay, moving on. Uh, 3,500, I think that is full. Yes, met my day, info, met pallet, full. Right, we'll take this one, and this is going to be the end of this episode. Let me see if I can lift that up. Now, this is the question, is can I pick this up without causing a major disaster? Now, met, as I'm assuming is mead is going to be in glass bottles, isn't it? So I really want to be careful with this. I don't want to be throwing it around or flipping it all over the place. Again, we've got a pallet that's not picking up very easy. Hmm. <laughs> uh, let me put that down a minute. This is not the way to treat glass bottles, Frith. Come on, what are you doing? I'm bad at this. I really am. I don't know if it's me or if it's uh, maybe the game slightly. I mean, can, can, can I blame the game a little bit, please? Because, you know, I, I, I feel that I do fairly well with trying to get these pallets on. I mean, look, there's the forks. I want to be down a little bit, so I'm in the middle. It's going in, but now it's pushing it. Why is it pushing it? Is it because of the angle of the forks? Yeah, now, oh, they're too low now, look. Got it! Ha <laughs> ha! I think I just smashed every bottle in there. <laughs> Oops. Um, hmm. If you ever meet me in real life and you have a very fragile cargo that you need to load onto a lorry, probably best if you don't ask me to do it. Considering my performance just there, it might not make it past the loading stage. Yeah. Uh... Right, as we're running out of time, I'm going to do a magical fast-forward and get this down the bottom. How was that? Magical fast-forward, I am now down the bottom, and we're just about to sell our first ever pallet of Met. And I'm not really sure how much milk and honey and stuff we used up. Uh, it's really difficult to sort of calculate the prices, considering how much stuff goes into each of these pallets. Now, are you ready? We're on 12,045. How much are we going to get for this? 4,263. Isn't that exactly the same as a pallet of wool? I really don't know if it's worth doing the beekeeping mod. I mean, it's a fantastic mod. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of fun. There's a lot of stuff to do with it. But at £4,000 a pallet, I, don't, I really don't know if it's worth it. There's a huge amount of work involved with doing that. Not only have you got to grow the cereals, get the cows, the, the milk and all the rest, you then got to move pallets all over the place and finally drag the pallet to the uh, honey bar to sell. Hmm. Not sure. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.